that refugee needs are met with dignity. Madam President, in Khartoum, in Darfur and elsewhere, the warring parties have fought their war with little regard for the laws and norms of war. Homes, shops, places of worship, water and electricity installations have been destroyed or damaged. The health sector is collapsing. With more than two-thirds of hospitals closed, many healthcare workers killed and medical supplies running low. The frequently reported use of health facilities as military positions is unacceptable. I'm appalled by the reports of sexual violence against women and girls, including allegations of rape in Khartoum and Darfur. The United Nations is following up to verify these cases. The warring parties must prevent any reoccurrence of such violence. Children are facing serious protection concerns and continue to be vulnerable to recruitment, sexual violence and abduction. Reports of rampant looting, of intimidation, harassment and enforced disappearance are deeply concerning. UN premises and residences, including the UNITAMS compound, as well as large amounts of food and humanitarian supplies have also been looted. Criminality is compounded by the release of thousands of prisoners and the increasing spread of small arms. And I'm also concerned about reported death threats against political activists, activists and leaders, about the, arrest of the arrests of Sudanese volunteers and the intimidation of journalists. Excellencies, in parts of the country, fighting between the two armies or the two armed formations has sharpened intercommunal tensions or triggered conflict between communities. In Al Jinaina in West Darfur, clashes between the Sudanese armed forces and the rapid support forces spiraled into ethnic violence on 24 April. Tribal militias joined the fight and civilians took up arms to defend themselves. Homes, markets, hospitals were ransacked and burned, UN premises looted. The Sudanese government declared on Thursday the UN envoy to the country, Volka Pathes, persona non grata, accusing him for several weeks of being responsible for the ongoing war. Earlier, the UN announced the German envoy was in the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa, on Thursday for a series of diplomatic talks. The head of the Sudanese army, General Abdel Fatal al burhan had called for the dismissal of the senior diplomat, accusing him of being responsible for the war that broke out on April 15th between his troops and the paramilitary rapid support forces of General Ham Homdan Dagro. The fighting broke out on the day that the two rival generals were due to meet for negotiations aimed at integrating the RSF into the regular army as the UN had been demanding for weeks. For several months, thousands of people supporting the army and the Islamists had been demonstrating against the UN envoy and alleged foreign interference. Pro-democracy activities have long accused General Bulhan of being manipulated by the Islamists of Omar al-Bashir's regime from 1989 to 2019. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.